Hey, 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 I'm early. How are you? Uh, this is Megan. Good to see you. Chime in, get in. Come on, we're gonna make jackfruit tacos or jackfruit lettuce wraps, whatever you want to call them. This is great. I, uh, I scoured the pantry and I thought, oh my gosh, what am I gonna make today? And uh, I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't made jackfruit yet. So we're, uh, and that comes in a can. Uh, Trader Joe's carries this. This is uh, green jackfruit and this is in a little bit of liquid, but this is a young jackfruit as opposed to if you go to maybe a international market of some sort, you can get a whole jackfruit itself. I mean, they actually, they're bigger than a watermelon. So, um, and that's already ripened. So those are a little sweeter. So um, we're gonna use some green jackfruit. Again, baby jackfruit. Uh, we're gonna um, kind of prep it and it's gonna look uh, just like chicken. It doesn't exactly taste like chicken, but we're gonna kind of zhuzh it up a little bit and um, it's gonna be delicious. And you're gonna love this because, um, well, you know, we've gotta have one of those nights along the week or in the week that, you know, maybe we go vegetarian. And this is perfect because um, when you are filling up, say, tacos with, uh, you know, if you get tortilla shells or um, actually, we're actually gonna use some some Boston lettuce. Shout out to all our friends in Boston um, and surrounding wherever you are. Um, or it's called bib lettuce. Uh, you can use that, or you could use kale. You could do, you could use so many different greens if you want to be able to increase your fruits and vegetables because everybody needs to eat more plants. Have a plant. How about that? This is brand new. Got this in the mail yesterday, and uh, we're um, launching some uh, uh, plant-based or uh, produce, Produce for Better Health Foundation is uh, launching a new campaign, and it's uh, good food for a better mood. So, and those are plants, fruits, vegetables. So, anyway, all right. So let's let's roll here, and I'm gonna get started. I don't know uh, if I can see anybody because um, I have the camera switched around. But anyway, uh, my um, my intern has decided to go play some music, so um, socially distanced music. So um, that's kind of fun. So uh, right about there. Um, anyway, I don't know how to even see myself on here. Oh, here we are. So I can make, uh, oh good, it works. All right, we're making jackfruit lettuce wraps. All right, start things off. Um, I've got a can of jackfruit, I've got two cans. I would probably need one for this recipe. And of course, as always, we wipe or wash off the tops and bottoms of our cans because those have been sitting in a store or somewhere and they collect dust and dirt and other crazy things. So we want to make sure those are always cleaned off. All right. And we're gonna and, and because when if there's something on here and your lid and you open your can and your lid goes in, guess what else goes in? Everything that's on that lid. So anyway. Alright, so and these are in just a little bit of brine. So we're gonna uh, just take out a little bit of water and we're gonna pop those into our bowl here. Now, if you see uh, your jackfruit is very soft and you can just kind of pull it apart after you wash your hands, of course. And or you can kind of see these little, uh, there's like little seeds in there or kind of, well, they're actually big. Uh, where's one that's whole intact maybe? Oh, here's one. So you got these little uh, seeds, they're soft. They're, they're almost like a, a, a garbanzo bean. They feel like that. Oh, here. Yeah, right there. So that is inside the jackfruit as well. Very soft. And and when you buy your canned jackfruit, it's, it's already very soft and pliable and very easy to use. I just, oop, I just like to break it up because we're going to make it uh, more like a shredded chicken. And this is 
of course, by all means, not meant to replace chicken, but to, you know, emulate chicken for those who want to do a little more plant-friendly lifestyle. All right, jackfruits are, are they're very uh, nutritious. There's lots of fiber. As you can see, this, this bowl kind of just looks like a bowl of fiber, doesn't it? Uh, all right, so kind of get that going. Now, uh, jackfruit also, when it is a green, uh, young jackfruit, it doesn't have a ton of flavor. So kind of just like, you know, you would use maybe like tofu or something. And you could probably use tofu in this recipe, but um, lots of uh, yummy plant food here. So so I've just kind of, kind of just meshed it up a little bit, kind of shredding it by hand. Kind of easy so hey bill i see you i see you bill bill slogman man didn't we have a good time sitting in the back i don't know why they put us in the back of the class in the sixth grade but i don't know probably because we were just the smartest ones in the class right yeah, yeah. we had mrs kohler wow boy that was a that was a that was a rough year. Yeah. All right. All right. Kind of like 2020. Now, all right. So we're going to put that aside. Now, what we're going to get together here, we're going to get some onion, some fresh garlic. I, ha I, I have garlic and onion in almost every meal. Uh, it gives you the highest amount of immunity. So that's always a good thing. You gotta keep that immunity up. I don't care what state you live in, you know. And uh, it's, you know, it, and, and this isn't just for now. It's like a full time gig. You always got to take care of the body. The body, the body is very forgiving because you know what you've done to your body all these years. And you know, if you give it a break and uh, kind of feed it healthy food, maybe things will go differently. You know. All right. All right. So we're gonna peel that. Ooh, that's a big one. All right, so a couple of cloves of garlic. You can do uh, two, three, four, depending on how big they are. And then we're also gonna just chop up a little bit of the onion so I only have half an onion. I ran out of onions. I had to go to the store for any of this, so that was really kind of cool. So I still am just trying to stay out of the store. You know, going to the store makes me really crabby these days because you're putting on this mask and, and it's not, it's just, it just makes me crowded because you want to get in and get out and I'm usually kind of a shopper that lingers in the store and uh, so I like to shop so and I shop a lot for groceries anyway for all the cooking closets but so, um, all right so just gonna kind of rough chop those onions a little bit so and then we're gonna also um, chop up that garlic and now, you, I didn't have any um, corn tortillas or, or any, well, I do have flour tortillas, but they're the big ones, and you know, you could do that too. So, you kind of sometimes use what you have. Everybody's getting so creative in this uh, lockdown, aren't they? So, but, so the other thing is, um, I, I read this uh, article, um, I, somebody sent me this article on, um, on photos and, and things from the 1918 flu epidemic and it was it was really interesting because they're doing like they were doing social distancing and everybody's wearing masks and going to work and yada yada and um, one of the things they recommended was fresh air fresh air and walking go outside get some fresh air yeah so anyway um, the air outside is probably the safest place to go, especially now because there's not a lot of planes flying, there's not a lot of traffic, so there's less pollution, and it's just kind of a little easier to breathe. So, all right, so we're gonna get our pan, handy dandy pan, turn on that burner, and you could use an extra virgin olive oil, or we're gonna use the macadamia nut oil, because it does have a little bit higher smoke point, and, uh, and it doesn't have a lot of flavor. So the, actual, the extra virgin olive oil actually has a flavor. Sometimes you don't want that flavor. So um, that's when you get like an avocado oil, macadamia nut oil, things like that, that have a little higher smoke point and that you can um, use without having to worry about having that flavor that flavors your food. So, all right. 
So we're just going to very carefully measure the oil in that pan. And what we want to do is get our onions going first. And let's see. Uh, well, I actually have a recipe here. Um, but we're going to get those onions cooking. And it should just be a couple minutes on those onions. And if you don't have an onion, you can always use onion powder, or if you don't have garlic, you can use garlic powder as well. So there's always kind of a substitution for everything. So, all right, what's next? We have uh, another little fun thing I found in the pantry. This is uh, chipotle peppers. Mm. So this is gonna make it really spicy and really, really yummy. So these are very hot. Uh, if you don't like spice, uh, you might just want the, see this is an adobo sauce, so um, the, the chipotle peppers are in uh, adobo sauce. And basically a chipotle pepper is a smoked pepper. So, ooh. Boy, how long has that been in there, huh? All right, yeah. Um, and you can find these in um, the grocery store in the, usually, oh, getting all over me. Uh, in the, uh, you know, next to all the Mexican spices and, uh, and stuff like that. So, anyway, uh, I'll put this in, I'll put this in a glass bowl so you can see it. So, I usually take it out of the can and keep it in the fridge, um, and then you can spice other things with it as well. You could uh, just either use a sauce or just use one pepper. One pepper is great. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. It's kind of making my mouth water just uh, right now because it's got so much power in it. Mmm, yum. All right. So, get our onions going here. So, about two to three minutes on the onions. We're just going to get them translucent. I, I feel like I've got sauce all over me here. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's why we wear an apron. So, um, what I'm going to do is take just a couple of these. And we're going to chop them up and we're going to integrate those into the jackfruit. Now these uh, chipotle peppers uh, make everything taste good if you do in fact like spicy stuff. So They are um, full of flavor, full of deliciousness, because that's all we want in our food is delicious. And making it simple, uh, I think a lot of times we overthink, oh my god I need a vegetable. Um, and sometimes we don't even know what vegetables and what we can do with those vegetables. So I also have some radishes, some carrots, and some cabbage, and that's going to be also topping uh, for our our uh, lettuce wrap. So that's going to be fun. All right, so we've got a little bit of cooked onion here. It's getting nice and translucent. So we're just going to pop in that garlic just for a quick uh, quick 30 seconds here. Not a quick minute, just 30 seconds. All right. And as soon as that uh, gets a little cooked on it, uh, the uh, garlic, we're going to then put in our jackfruit. So now the jackfruit can hold a lot of water. And if it has a lot of water in it, you can just squeeze it. But it's okay if it does have some water in it, um, just not the whole can of water that it came in here. So I'm just gonna pop that in. And it will evaporate. Some of it will evaporate. So we're just gonna kind of stir it all in there. Give it a give it a little um, warm up. Now the thing is, it's already it doesn't really need a lot of cooking time because it's just ready to ready to roll. Think of it like kind of like a can of beans um, and, and kind of use it like that. So, uh, all right. So, I'm going to give it another little minute here. And then I will put in some of our adobe peppers and, uh, or our chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Hmm, I love this stuff. All right, so our handy dandy cabbage. So we can just slice it nice and thin. Now we're actually going to have the cabbage raw, uh, or you could cook it if you want. And uh, we're going to just kind of chop it up just kind of.
kind of like a nice little slaw. And that will be the topping, one of our toppings. You could do red cabbage, green cabbage. You could do any kind of other lettuce. You could do a Napa cabbage if you have that. So, or you could do regular lettuce. The regular lettuce in these tacos, it just kind of never really kicks it in for me, but it was just kind of plain. Cabbage actually has a little more crunch and makes your taco a little more interesting. So. All right. So I'm going to get that those chipotle peppers in there. And it's going to give it also a nice color to it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the sauce here. You don't want to leave those peppers whole because they are pretty spicy. But so we just get it rolling around in there. And I'll get it rolling around on my floor. Yes, we love that. So don't be afraid. Alright. So I just want to get a little bit of sauce on all of your jackfruit. So easy. 
pretty much done. We're just warming it. I've got it on low here just to keep it warm. And it pretty much breaks down as we go along. So let's get a little lettuce leaf here. So we're pulling off those butter, uh, those Boston lace, butter, lettuce, Boston leaf, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you might want to double them up if they're really super thin, uh, just because it's going to be holding your, your jackfruit in it and kind of doubling those up will make it a little easier to eat and easier to handle. Not necessarily, but you know, kind of depends on how much stuff you like to put on it. So anyway, I think, uh, uh, well, you could put a little sweetener in your um, jackfruit here. Actually, why don't I taste this? See if we need any sweetening agent in there. I might put a little bit of honey in there. Doesn't need any honey. Oh, I could use a, a lime. Lime would be good in there. Hold on. I have lime. Don't go away. I'm not sure why I always have lime on hand, but it's always a good thing. Lemons, limes, citrus, always great to have on hand. Make everything easier and give your food a little more vibrant element. So here's your lime. If you want, you can roll your lime and you wash, you wash it first, of course. And let's see, I've got a little squeezer. So we're gonna, and if you don't have lime, no worries. You could put lemon in there. I think the lime just kind of, kind of goes along with that adobo sauce a little better. But sometimes you just want a nice little citrus kick. And then you want all sorts of fun things to happen. So we can turn off our burner. Voila. All right. Doesn't that look yummy, delicious? All you veg heads out there, you know, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, you don't have to be. It's just good food. So, you know, I don't like to get people into a category, you know, if you're you're, everybody has something that I identify with, whether it's paleo, keto, vegetarian, vegan, carnivore, <laughs> keto. Um, you know, everybody's got their thing. Whatever makes you feel good at the end of the day, go with that. And I'm, I'm talking about like really, like feeling good and feeling healthy. So there is a difference. Of course, you know, a couple of glasses of wine will make you feel good too, but it might not make you feel good tomorrow morning, so. Um, all right, so I'm going to get a little spoon here. I'm just going to spoon that up, put that right in our little taco and put a little purple, a little orange and a little radish in there and voila. Now I need a plate or a bowl. Yeah, we'll do that. So you can have those. And uh, if you have a little bit of, you know, something like ranch dressing, God forbid, you know, um, or some kind of homemade sauce, you could use a little creme fraiche, maybe a little yogurt, um, something, or a cashew sauce, if you want to keep it vegan. All sorts of options here. So it looks like I need to go to the grocery store again. So, so I can come up with another recipe for you. So look at all those beautiful colors in there. That's the way, you know, and if this is just a snack, then it's just a snack. But you know, if you can start incorporating your fresh fruits and vegetables into your everyday eating lifestyle, you're gonna be feeling pretty good. All right, so again, so we've got our jackfruit, our spicy jackfruit, a little bit of cabbage, a little bit of carrot and a little bit of radish and voila we have such a great little yum mm, I love this um, I have had 
I have this on my website. I have the jackfruit taco recipe on my website, which is healthyeating101.com. And you might have to put the word jackfruit in, in the, when you scroll down, it says, you know, are you looking for something special? Put in the word jackfruit. Even the word jack. I don't know. So uh, anyway, so you could also use a tortilla, corn tortilla, flour tortilla. You could make your tacos regular. Um, you can use this for anything else. You could make yourself a bowl. Um, we've done a lot of bowls uh, over the quarantine time here and um, adding those in with quinoa or sweet potatoes or something. You can also always use the jackfruit and you know, just making your fruits and vegetables more front and center for your everyday lifestyle. So, who else is here? <gasps> Kathleen, my sissy. Um, oh, like Michael. Hey, wait, yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to be here. <laughs> Mike Mark. Uh, cool, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's a way to make your food fun, delicious, getting all the variety in there. Um, and you know, take a break from your regular, you know, potato chips or your whatever you're indulging on and then counter that with some fresh produce or some fruits or vegetables. Find it, you will find it because everything out there is growing. Yes, that's my window. Um, it's growing, it's turning so green, it is so beautiful out. Um, and granted, we're here in the south, so we're uh, a little ahead of schedule than you uh, northerners up there. But it's, it's uh, the food is still growing and we need to make sure it goes, um, you know, people are hungry and if they are hungry, they will find the food. So um, I, and, and, and it, or it will find them. So I would always encourage learning some quick tips and tricks to incorporate this into your everyday eating lifestyle. So. All right, got to run. Great to see you. Thank you for joining. I can't wait to see you all in person. Uh, just um, if you want to come to an official cooking class, we're going to be doing them online through the Cook's Warehouse. Mine is May 5th, and I will be doing plant-based burgers and rutabaga fries, and um, it'll be really fun, and uh, it'll be all online, and I'll be doing that. Um, May 5th, I think it's sometime in the afternoon, so they just rolled out some new classes. So hopefully we can do a lot more through video and however we get it all communicated because you know what? We're in this together. And uh, when you learn to cook, you open everything else up in your world because then you will survive the next umpteen days of however many days we are in quarantine. So hope to see you guys soon. Love you.